In today's tutorial, we're going to automate the process of changing your desktop wallpaper with Python. We're going to use Python to get a list of wallpapers, choose one at random, and then change our desktop wallpaper every five seconds. We're going to learn an incredible amount of Python in this video. Everything from running a schedule to manipulating the file system to even spawning subprocessors. By the way, when it comes to learning programming, I know it can be quite difficult, and that's why I try and teach you in a much more fun and interesting way. With that said, please do give this video a like and make sure you subscribe as well as tap the bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release more tutorials like this. So with that said, get yourself a drink and let's get started. Right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by creating the project folder. So I'm gonna call this automate desktop wallpapers with Python. And then we're gonna open that up in Sublime Text. I'm using Sublime, you could use PyCharm. I also use PyCharm, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Sublime. Now, once you've got it open up in Sublime, we wanna create a couple of files. So the first file we're gonna create is the requirements.txt file. This is gonna store all the requirements that we're gonna need for the project. The next file that we wanna create, or folder actually, is gonna be the wallpapers folder. And I'm gonna show you later on how we can get a bunch of wallpapers uh, in this directory, but that's gonna be the wallpapers um, that we're gonna to use to change a desktop background. The last file that we're gonna create is the run.py file, and that's the entry point for the program, and that's where we're, going to, where we're going to be writing all of our code. I'm going to start off by going to the requirements.txt file, and I'm going to import a library called schedule. And if I remember correctly, the version for this library is going to be 060. Schedule is a library, um, Python library, that allows us to schedule tasks. You have quite a bit of flexibility in terms of being able to pick the time period, but the key thing is it's going to allow us to be able to schedule uh, the wallpaper change based on the time period that we uh, want to uh, use. Once we've got the run.py file set up, we're going to add the classic if name main check. And this is basically going to tell Python that we want to start the program by running this function. So it's being very specific uh, about where to start. So now that we've got all of that in place, the next thing that we need to do is figure out the steps that we're going to need to get this program working. So the first step is we're going to need to set up some sort of scheduler. Set up a scheduler that's going to allow us to change the wallpaper every, you know, whatever time period that we want to change it, whether it's every minute, every 10 minutes, whatever it might be, we, we need a, a scheduler in place to be able to set that up. So set up a scheduler that's going to change the wallpaper every, I'll just say X for now. Um, and then the second step is um, in that scheduler, scheduler, get the list of wallpapers. So as I mentioned, we're gonna have a directory and we created the folder wallpapers and that's gonna store all of the wallpapers. And so what we wanna do is we wanna get the list of wallpapers from that directory and then based, um, or once we've done that, once we've got the list of wallpapers, change the wallpaper, change the wallpaper. So the way it works is you type schedule and every and we'll do every five seconds, which is cool. And then we're going to do. So do is basically the function. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this function set wallpaper. So every five seconds, we're gonna do this. Set wallpaper, as you can imagine, is a function, but we haven't yet defined it, but we're gonna define it in a second. And this follows the builder pattern. It's a design pattern in computer, or it's a design pattern in programming, actually, not computer science. But yeah, it's a design pattern in programming uh, that, that almost syntactically uh, allows you to be able to uh, create or write code like this. Um, I won't go into too much depth. Look, you look up the builder pattern in your own time. But for now, the key thing is every five seconds, we're gonna be calling the set wallpaper function. So once once we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is a bit more code to get the scheduler going. So the schedule actually has a function called run pending, and then we need to do a time.sleep and one. And I'm going to import time above. Time is a system library, and this is just saying we're going to sleep for one second, which is fine. So you set up the schedule here, you give it the function. You, want, or you run a while true loop, and essentially that just keeps the schedule going. And um, this is the function that you call run pending, so it will keep a lookout for if there are any functions that need to be run. 
and then um, it will you just sleep for one second to give it a, a sort of a, a breather <laughs> so that's looking good that's our schedule set up the next thing that we need to do is we need to define the set wallpaper function so that um, we can get the list of wallpapers so let's do that now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, variable well, what we'll do actually is put a print statement just above here um, just to let when we're running the program it's quite nice to be able to see what's going on so we'll just write a print statement here saying we're setting the wallpaper and then what we'll do here is wallpapers and then we're going to say get file names from directory we haven't yet defined this directory or we haven't yet defined this function sorry and we haven't yet defined this um, wallpaper folder which we'll do in a second so we get all get all the file names from this particular directory in other words the names of the wallpapers and then we'll pick a random wallpaper from that and you use that do that using the random choice library so or random library so i'm going to import random from above random dot choice and then we pass it the wallpapers which looks great and then once we've got that in place the next thing that we need to do is we need to get the full image path now right now what will happen is once we get the file names from the directory that's just going to be uh, the name of the file right but for us to be able to set the wallpaper effectively we need to get the full file path so what do i mean by that well say for example we have a wallpaper called you know wallpaper I'm going to write this in comments just so we can separate this out. Wallpaper 01.png, right? Say, for example, we have this wallpaper um, in this directory wallpapers, right? Now, this get file names from directory um, is going to get this, right? And it's going to put that in wallpapers, right? Um, if we have more, you know, wallpaper 02.png, etc., you get it. But essentially, we're going to get a list of these names. I want to store it in this uh, variable here. It's going to become an array. Now, Unfortunately, when it comes to uh, us setting the desktop wallpaper, this isn't enough. We actually need the entire file path. So basically the full file path of this. So for example, in this case, it would be developer slash automate desktop wallpapers with, uh, if I can type correctly, slash wallpapers right so as you can tell we need the entire entire path of the file the reason why we need that is when it comes to telling or using osa script in other words the apple script to be able to change the wallpaper it needs the full file path it can't unfortunately you can't just uh, figure out exactly where this wallpaper is based on the file name alone it needs the entire file path so we need to build that up. Unfortunately, it's not the easiest thing to do in Python, or well, actually it's not the nicest uh, code, but um, it works. So the way you do that is we're gonna create a variable called full, full image path, and we're gonna use the OS library. And so I'm gonna import that. Um, I'll import that above here. And then what I'm gonna do, os.path.join. And essentially, this is gonna allow us to create a create a uh, path, create a file directory path um, with a couple of um, arguments. So the first thing that we'll give, we're gonna give is the path lib, path absolute. The second one is the wallpaper function. So I'm gonna write these out and I'll explain it in a second. And the last one is the random wallpaper. So this is gonna get the um, directory, this is gonna get the uh, file path of the uh, project right so path lib is fantastic because it's going to give us that which is great and what i'm going to do is i'm going to import that above just now path lib so once we've got the project directory we then need to append it to the wallpaper folder again i haven't defined this so let's do that now wallpaper folder and the name of the wallpaper folder is wallpapers uh, we created that earlier and then the last thing that we want, so right now we've got the project directory and we're gonna join it to the wallpapers folder or, or the wallpaper folder in here. And then we need to join it to the actual name of the wallpaper, which is gonna be random wallpaper. And that looks good. So hopefully with that, we've got the full image or uh, full wallpaper path, All right? So, you know, just for brevity, I'm just gonna call that full wallpaper path. So that's looking good so far. So what we've done is we've got 
We're going to get all the wallpapers from the directory. We're going to pick a random one and then we've got the full wallpaper path that we're going to build up and use to change a wallpaper. Just before we continue, I'm going to create this function which gets all the file names from our directory. And so to do that, um, let's copy that from here, which is looking good. And then what we're doing is we're giving it a folder location. And then here we're going to make use of uh, the OS library that we imported earlier. It's quite cool. It essentially has a function called listdir. And what that does is it returns, uh, well, here's the, uh, here's the nice little tooltip, returns a list containing the names of uh, the entries in the directory. In other words, the names uh, of the files in the directory, which is fantastic. And then return files. So that looks quite good so far. So we get all the file names from a directory. We're picking the random one. We get the full wallpaper path. And now the last thing that we need to do is we need to change a desktop wallpaper. Now to change a desktop wallpaper, I mentioned that in Mac, it's quite restrictive. So we actually have to use what's known as OsaScript, in other words, AppleScript. AppleScript is quite a convenient way to be able to tell the Mac operating system to do stuff. Simple things like opening a folder or turning on the Wi-Fi are quite intuitive to write in AppleScript and it follows a very simple and easy to uh, understand format. I've got a snippet of AppleScript that changes the desktop wallpaper, so I'm gonna paste that here and feel free to copy this. By the way, all the source code um, is in the link in the description below. So essentially this is OsaScript, and as you can tell here, we're putting it in a Python string, a multi-line Python string indicated by the three double quotes and the three ending double quotes. And here what we're doing is we tell application finder. So by the way, this is all Apple script. So as you can probably tell, it's very easy to read. It's quite hum or human readable um, and it's quite intuitive. So what it does is tell application finder, set desktop picture to post six file. And so here, as you can notice, we've got some braces because that is actually what we need to fill in with the full image path or full wallpaper path that we were talking about earlier. So we actually need to pass that in here. So we need to substitute that um, in between these quotes. So set the desktop uh, picture to this and then end tell. So it's quite intuitive um, OSA script. Um, feel free to check it out because you can also use OSA script to do other tasks like, you know, uh, uh, disabling the Wi-Fi or, you know, uh, turning on the Bluetooth, whatever it might be. So it's quite cool, worth checking out. But unfortunately, Apple script uh, or OSA script, I use them interchangeably, you can't execute it in Python. You actually have to execute it on the terminal, right? So this you, this OSA script, you can actually run in the terminal. Now, what you need to do um, for us to be able to run this in the Python script, we have to set up a sub process. A sub process allows you to spawn, or in other words, create a new process, run some tasks sort of in the background, and then get the result of that. And this is perfect for OSA script. And what you can do is you can import sub process, which I'm gonna do here. And then down below here, what we'll do is we'll call sub open. So that's a way of sort of saying we're gonna open a new process. And what kind of code do we want to run? Well, we want to run this OSA script. So I'm gonna paste that here. But as I mentioned, what we wanna do is we want to substitute these braces here, right? We wanna substitute that with the full wallpaper path. So we're gonna do that using the format function. And that's the reason why we wrote it in this multi-line string with the braces here. So that later we can use the format function and pass in the substitute value there. And I think that looks good. And the last thing is we're gonna dictate that this is gonna run in the shell. And that's it really. So that's gonna allow us to open a, sub, um, a, a separate process that's gonna run the script uh, inside the shell. And we indicate that with the shell is equal to true command. Now that's all the code in place. The next thing that we need to do is we need to populate this wallpapers folder with some wallpapers. Now feel free to go down to the description below where I've included a link for all of the source code in this project, which will include the wallpapers folder, as well as all the wallpapers inside. That might make it easier for you. So feel free to do that. If not, what I tend to do is I go to Unsplash. Unsplash is a fantastic website that allows you to download wallpapers for free. Download a set of wallpapers and then put them into the wallpapers directory. And once that's ready, we're all good to go. So the next thing is we want to run the program. So to do that, we need to open up in the terminal. So let's do that now. So I've got the project folder opened up in item. I use item as my terminal. It's a fantastic uh, feature pack terminal, but feel free to use a standard one. It's totally fine. And what we need to do is install the requirements. So we do that using pip. So pip install dash r requirements.txt. 
and that looks good and then we need to run the program so keep an eye on the desktop background as i run the program we should get a message any second saying setting the wallpaper and once that's triggered the wallpaper should change and it has which is fantastic and now uh, as the schedule is running it should change a wallpaper every five seconds and as you can tell it looks like it is all right so that was a lot we covered in this video there's a lot of python that we learned and i'm sure that's more than you've learned in your average lecture or tutorial inside a book I'm sure you enjoyed it so make sure you give this video a like and if you have any thoughts and suggestions let me know in the comments below until then have a lovely week and i'll see you next time peace